Chagawaski Foundation is an indigenous not-for-profit started by a group of indigenous elders, trappers, and knowledge keepers from Northern Alberta, Canada. Part of the Chagawaski team also includes team members from all around the world, including scientists, foresters, economists, and IT professionals. It's about protecting a uh, genetically unique buffalo herd uh, that has a cultural significance for an indigenous community in Canada. And it's also about using technology to map what's going on and understand how this herd is affected by deforestation and changes on the land. Chegalaski's role is to reconcile the relationship between people and nature. We have worked with Sojeti, part of Capgemini, to analyze the changes on the landscape. Collaboration with the team has helped us communicate what the indigenous elders have known for a long time. The tech team has provided us with information and has helped us communicate to the government. So the idea is that we can influence policymakers uh, we can work with the industry to try different patterns that will actually increase and become biodiversity positive. We get the opportunity to use data and analytics to drive decisions and policy making and trying to influence the way we work when it comes to sustainability and biodiversity. The hugest benefit about working with Capgemini was the remote sensing work that they did using artificial intelligence to look over a very large landscape to see the impact of development on the Wabasca wood buffalo herd's habitat and on indigenous way of life. We have leveraged uh, what we call GSI, Geosatellite Intelligence, which is a set of tools and practices and experience we have at, at Sojeti, which enables us to work really fast when it comes to remote sensing and analytics uh, where you use satellite uh, imaging we can quickly support Chagwaski in mapping what's going on now, but also to understand what's going on since the 80s and onwards. Collaboration with the Capgemini team worked through a lot of hard work that a lot of people did over a long period of time and not giving up. That was why we've got to the stage that we've got to. There's been a lot of people that have know, committed a lot of time and effort to trying to make this work. And that's the same effort that we're all going to have to make with respect to climate change. Yeah.